everyone. Today I'm going to show you how I made these gorgeous shaker bows. So this one is black with silver in the middle. And this one is a pink one with blingy rhinestones in the middle. But today we're going to make a blue one. So let's get started. So for this project, you're going to need some acetate. If you don't have any acetate, or you have like these card protector things, some sequins for your shaker. You're gonna need a hair clip. This is a crocodile clip. You're gonna need some embellishments. Well, this is optional actually, but I'm gonna do this because I've got loads of buttons. So we're gonna use this. You're gonna need something to go in the middle of the bow, like to go over here. And I'm gonna add a little rainbow. So let's get started. So the first thing you wanna do you want to get your acetate, this is an A4 sheet of acetate, and you want to fold it in half, it's hard to see because it's acetate on the camera. But you want to fold it in half, score it, press it down as much as you can. The next thing you want to do is use a sewing machine and sew all around the edges. Don't forget to backstitch. But we're not going to let this waste. We're still going to make a bow out of it. Waste not, want not. As you can see, my girlies are wearing the Veali. This one is Never Give Up. This one is one we all made together. No, you done... didn't make it. Me and you didn't make it. Yes, this child has been wearing it. She won't take it off. It's a little robot that we got from the Cricut Design Space. And we craft punched some little shapes out. And we, we glued them on together. Is this mine? Who can use it? That one went a little bit wrong yeah but we're still going to use it and i'm sure it, every mistake one thing you've got to learn guys is there's never such thing as a mistake everything is all about learning growing and, and trying again yes and one thing i've learned is every single time i've made some form of mistake it's always been for a reason and i've always created something even more beautiful than before and right now we're going to tune up the You want to stop here make sure you do not take the needle out of the acetate make sure you keep it there then you want to i use a spoon i find it a lot easier so just grab a spoon a tablespoon take out the sequins is that going to be my bow yep yeah. and then pop them in with the spoon you can take it off the sewing machine if you find it easier but i just prefer to leave it on there and just pop loads of sequins in there. You don't have to just use sequins. You can cut things out. You can use buttons. You can use anything you can use. And another thing you can use, you can cut little shapes out with a pair of scissors and pop it in there. As long as you don't make the shapes too, too big. And then what we're going to do, we're going to put our buttons... So we've got loads of buttons and the, the good thing about this bow is that the more you move it around you discover new things inside there so whoever's made if you're making it for somebody as they move the bow around they discover new things inside there which makes it even nicer so we've put all of them inside and then we're just going to do the final stitch and if you're using small sequins or anything that's really small, make sure you use a small stitch because otherwise they'll come out through the stitches. And then there we have it. I thought you were going to put that one in. We have a shaker. Oh, that's nice. Okay. So the next thing you want to do is you want to fold it in half. Try to get your things as even as you can. Fold your bow in half as best you can. It's not going to be very easy because of all the little sequins. And then what I try to do is shake it as much as I can to try to get the sequins down. If they go, don't go down, open it up again and then shake it again. Because they get stuck there. So if they don't go, open it again quickly and shake it as much as you can. You're not going to be able to get it perfect most of the time, I've discovered. But if you don't get it perfect, it doesn't really matter. Sometimes you could be here bagging it for ages, but that's the best we can get it. So then what you want to do is you want to score it as best you can. 
as I've shown you for my other bows. If you have a scoring tool or a bone folder or anything scoring, just use that. That might help the sequins to come out even more. So there you have it. So this is what an accordion fold is. So you get one end and you fold it backwards. Then you turn it over and you fold it again on the other side. This isn't the neatest, but I just want to show you how it looks. Then you turn it over again, fold it down, turn it over again, fold it down. Keep on going. And keep on going until you've finished. So this is an envelope my daughter's just given me. So now we have an accordion folded envelope, which is now going to end up being a paper bow. Waste not, want not, but you've just got to keep going, keep going, keep going. Until the end. And that is an accordion fold opened. Fine. And then, that is it open. So now we have a bow. But yes, That's let's do this on here. Accordion fold on here. But you've got to be careful when you're turning it over because of all the sequins. You don't have to go in the middle again. So just be careful. Tell Take your time. We've got the glue gun on already, getting ready to glue. Really hot. Some of my sequins have gone back into the middle again, but it's no problem, just got to shake them out again. So keep accordion folding. Might be even easier to just hold it. Yeah. Hold it up. One more fold and we're done. So there's your bow. Okay, so, and we're back. I hope you like my top. I made it with my brand, Vayali, and it's a lion S or lion head. Anyway, back to the bow video. Then you're going to get your, what you're going to use for the middle bit. What I normally do is pop a bit of glue in the middle. If you can see that, pop a bit of glue in the middle. And then I get my, whatever I'm going to do the bow around, pop it inside. One of the creases. Be careful with hot glue, guys. It is very, very hot. Then you want to go all the way around. Get your clip. Measure it up a bit more to make sure it's all okay. Then you want to get your scissors. Don't use your good scissors for this, people, people, because this is actually metal. And then you want to pop a bit more glue on the edge. Let's see if you can see that. Focus, camera, focus. And then go around. Hold it down. Make sure it's not going to burn your hands. This one's burning a little bit. I have an adjustable glue gun so I can change the heat on it. But sometimes things need a lot of heat for them to work. So there you have your bow. Yay. But me, I'm going to stick an extra embellishment on there. This was another thing I had in my Cabotron's drawer. So I'm going to stick this little rainbow on there. Put a bit of glue. You don't have to do this bit. This bit is optional. I'm going to stick a little rainbow on this bow. Now look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Gorgeous. So you have to excuse my scissors, everybody. These were one of my first tailoring scissors and they've disintegrated a little bit, but they're perfect for cutting things that won't damage all my good fabric scissors. Look at that. Gorgeous. And for the one that went wrong, oh yeah. <laughs> it was not a mistake, it was a learning curve. So I also decided to get some holographic sticker paper and we're going to punch out some heart shapes. One, two. And there you have oh, a nice. This was the pocket protector. It didn't work so well, but you live and you learn. So I'm not going to bother with that one. But yes, they are absolutely gorgeous. So grab some acetate. Get creating, you can use anything to stick on here. I think this looks amazing. Anyway, get creating and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.